My name is Monica Kang from Innovator Spots, your creativity gym. And I'm super excited to introduce you to Spark. These are great question card games to get to know your friends and colleagues in a different way, in a deeper way. Plus, great for ideation. In each of these boxes, whether you have level one or level two, you have about 50, 60 different cards to get to know each other in a different way. Some are curiosity, some are reflection, and some are creativity. But the key is that when you ask these different questions, you're gonna be in a wild ride. Because when was the last time you might have thought about what are you most looking forward to in the next month and why? So let's get started. And as you get started on playing the game, there are three ground rules that I suggest for you to do. Number one, set a specific intention. Is this for ideation or getting to know each other? Two, set a specific time. Is this gonna be a five minute or a 30 minute conversation so that the audience know how deep they wanna go with it? And number three, make a safe space. Doing a simple thing as simple as Everything shared here stays here. It gives a powerful message on knowing the audience know that they can share anything and that it's gonna be staying as a secret. So do that and let's get started on some suggestions on how you can play. Suggestion number one. It's a great way to get to know each other in a different, deeper way. You can do this in several ways. Whether you do a one-on-one -on -one conversation and go through as many different cards as you would like, one at a time, or if you have a bigger team of 30 people and want to set the rule as everyone pick up at least two different color cards and ask a different question to a different person. Or if you have set a specific time, you can ask the folks to say, hey, just go through as many different cards as you can, but share within your group. So there's many different ways, but pick a simple rule so that you share how they're gonna get to know each other. Number two is ideation because we're tired of asking the same questions. And you'll be surprised as simply picking up a card like this and asking what experience challenged you to rethink a strong belief and why, which is on the reflection card, might bring you a different perspective. So use it as a way of a prompt to problem solve and ideate your next biggest challenge. And number three, breaking the ice in a fantastic way. Because the other thing you might have noticed in the design is that we have three different colors. So I actually love using this as a way of a cue. Let's say I have an audience and it actually works very well for a larger group, even as big as 500 people, where I say people who are introverts, please pick the yellow, uh, the blue card. If you're an extrovert, use the yellow. And if you are in something of both, pick up the orange. And then I cue them, find someone who has a different color card. You heard me right and that permits people to get to know in a faster pace in a large number of rooms, as well as asking a question or a different question prompt that you want to do. So use that to break the ice and many other ways. So congratulations, these are Sparks and Monica Kang from Innovator Spot.